on this beautiful, beautiful Labor Day weekend. Surf's up uh, down at the beach. We've got some uh, incredible high tides, and uh, really it is just everything is packed. The track is packed. We're packed. Tomorrow, we go across the street for polo. So yesterday, we were at 4 o'clock Fridays at the track, and that was, uh, let me tell you, like nothing else. And today, we're at Show Park uh, for the $50,000 Grand Prix, and then we go from here to polo. That's sdpolo.com. If you haven't known, uh, you got to check them out. Great afternoon, great fun. Almost as much fun as uh, showpark.com. That's where we are today. Tune in, log on, sjutv.com. safe to say. Brown now taking the victory lap. He's going right by me, saluting the crowd. The Grand Del Mar, in true Grand Del Mar style, is really, they are pleased to uh, salute this great champion in sport this afternoon. You can see Harley. What a great afternoon. Harley Brown really uh, rising to the top. He was the best this afternoon. Uh, we know anytime in fall tournament, World Cup qualifying Grand Prix September 17th at 6.30 p.m. All right, it's Tamara, and I'm right here with the winner of today's World Cup qualifying Grand Prix. This is Harley Brown. Hey! Hey, how are you doing? I was very happy, obviously. I am so <laughs> happy for you. That's so great. So first of all, go back a little bit and tell me about the course. Well, I, uh, it was outdoors this year, which I was not offended about at all. My horse is 18-2, so he's better outdoors than he is indoors. He's not, and he's not bad indoors. And uh, I walked it, and I thought, yeah, nice. I've got a young horse in this as well that was doing his first World Cup. And he, and I thought, yeah, it's a nice course. And, uh, yeah, I was happy. And my horse just jumped superbly all the way around. And we didn't start him at all this week. This was the only class we started him in. We saved him for it. It's what we're here for. And uh, the Oak Park group and myself would be very happy, I can imagine. <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So tell me a little bit about, were you surprised that you were the only one clean? Uh, as as the course went on after about 10 horses, I said, you know what, I mightn't have to jump off, but then I can be superstitious. So I, I had right. to stop that thought and and, uh, and and just concentrate on what I had to do on my bay horse and, and be ready for a jump off if needed. Oh, fantastic. So are you going to stick around on the West Coast then for this uh, World Cup qualifying season? Yes, yeah, so I'm not going anywhere till after Christmas, so I'm here for a while. Oh. Fantastic. And how about a shout out to your little girl? Hey Zoe and Dexter, of course. <laughs> hey Zoe, oh, she's standing and I can see her. Hey Zoe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what's next for you? The New Zealand flag on your shorts? Australia, Australian flag. <laughs> uh, I mean, this, my this, bad, my bad. This, this is our start with this horse for the, the London Olympics, and this is like the, the first start in the period to build up for it and, 
and this will go a long way to um, getting him there. So it's great. Oh, fantastic. Again, congratulations right here, right now, and show jumping unplugged the winner. Thank I'm you. so excited for you. We're going to let him go because he's got a lot of autographs to sign, but uh, we will see you next time. It was super. Does it get any better? No, it doesn't. You're watching SJUTV.com live from the Del Mar Horse Park Labor Day weekend. It all went off right here, right now on SJUTV. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the ride with us. We want to thank uh, Blenheim Equisports for allowing us uh, the privilege of being able to uh, be their premier broadcast partners. Right here, right now on SJUTV.com. I'm Paul Peterson, and I'm out.